<laughs> this is the lie. Happy summer! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here, and thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. As the summer season is coming to a close, I thought it'd be a great idea to share with you guys a lot of the fun things that I got to do this summer. I truly feel like this one has been my best summer yet. I had an absolute blast, and I'd also like to thank Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Fiverr, it is a website that connects you to many different freelancers that offer so many different digital services for your business. And I know firsthand as a business owner that balance is key. Sometimes you need help completing those digital tasks so you can put that time and energy into other things like spending time with your family, going on vacation, or packing orders. And that's definitely where Fiverr comes in handy. If you need help making your business logo or making an ad to drive attention to your website or maybe you're a YouTuber like me and you need someone to edit all of your content, you can find help on Fiverr. You guys know that I worked with Fiverr many times before, but most recently through Fiverr, I hired a freelancer to enhance my website's SEO so we can get my business name, Sweet Masonry, out there and pop up in major search engines. And my freelancers were able to do exactly that, and I had a pleasant experience working with them. Besides all that, did you guys know that August is Black Business Month? I absolutely love that Fiverr is committed to supporting Black businesses like mine, like yours, and that they have also helped support my business grow. I definitely plan to use Fiverr again to create a new intro and outro for this channel. We've had the same one for quite a while now, and I feel like it's time to give this channel's branding a new refresh and a whole makeover so y'all let me know if you have any ideas for themes down below head to fiverr.co slash young lady business to see all of the services that are available to you and use my code yob10 to get 10 percent off okay y'all now let's get into the summer vlog so guys, the first thing we did to kick off our summer was to go camping. Marcus and I have not been camping in such a long time. We got this tent off of Amazon. It was super easy to pop up and put together as you can see. And we think that this is now going to be something that we do every single summer at this campground. It is absolutely gorgeous. As y'all can see, we are right on the water. Okay. All right, y'all, so we got the tent set up. It looks so cute. Marcy's chilling right over there until we get everything together and then we'll let her like do her thing and explore a bit more. She's already pottied out here. But y'all look how close we are to the water. It is absolutely insane. I don't know if you can see like the people out and like some more people showed up. There's a bridge right there in the bathrooms are like right over there. Probably have to go soon. But anywho, right now y'all, we're about to put together our bed. This is from Amazon. It's a full size, which is supposed to fit in here, so we will see. And look at the tent. It's so nice and pretty. I think the bed will fit perfectly, actually. It might even help us like expand the tent out a little bit more. Okay, y'all. Y'all, we just got the bed all set up. It looks so cute. We have like our little rug down here. Marshy's there. And everything. It looks adorable. So I'm really happy with it. And I'm actually going to bring her other bed and put it over here too. So she knows that like this is where she can roam and be free. So yeah. Um, I don't know where it's at. Marcus just moved the table and we're gonna put on a tablecloth.
all done. All right, y'all, it's like a little later in the night. Look how pretty it is out there on the water. So gorgeous, the cotton candy skies. We have a fire going to keep us warm. Marcus and I played a few rounds of this Jenga. It was so, so fun. I won two rounds and he lost one. So I'm the, ch I'm the champ. Okay, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> Marcus has a little lantern here because we're getting ready to make burgers for dinner. So on this side, he's gonna do the burgers. And on this side, we are going to, well tomorrow we're gonna scramble up some ground turkey and make campfire nachos. But yeah, y'all, it's going really, really good. Let's check on the drinks. See how these are doing. Is the ice still here? Oh, okay, pretty much gone. I think I'm gonna munch on these and then I'm going to cut up the tomato for the burgers. Oh, but this is the life, this is the life. Happy summer. Good morning you guys. So it is the next morning. Last night it was cold, freezing the whole night. Ooh, chilling my bones, but it was good. We woke up this morning and now we're getting started on breakfast. Marcy's over here chilling. Got her food set up and all that. The lake looks so pretty this morning. It was even more calm before this. And then over here, we had eggs, um, pancake mix, and Marcus is working on getting the grill set up so we can make some breakfast. Overall, a really good night, and we have a great day ahead of us. We have some adventures planned that we'd like to do. We wanna like get on the lake today and do some aqua cycling, and then um, just exploring the campground a bit more. But yeah, so excited for today. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I gotta tell you guys a crazy story that happened yesterday. So shortly after we were eating the like turkey sausages, a bird on me, on my foot to be exact. And that is the second time in my life that that's happened, but the first time that I knew it happened when it happened, you know, and I felt it. The first time it ever happened, I was in Ghana and Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. Okay, it's so embarrassing. But I was in Ghana, and I was, it was like our second day there. We were going to like a new student, international student orientation, and I was talking with a group of people, and it happened then. And it happened, like it happened on my hair and my head. However, I did not know at the time, and no one told me, but I just kept smelling like a funny stench. And I kept like touching my hair because it was like clear. It was completely clear. <laughs> um, and so I came to the conclusion that that is what happened and it was confirmed by someone that said they saw it happen but they just didn't know how to tell me, so. Really embarrassing, really, really embarrassing. I think I washed my hair the next day because I was like, the stench was just so terrible and I just kept smelling something funny on me I was like is this like the is this what it just smells like here or is this me and I don't know but it was really embarrassing so yesterday the bird boo-booed on my foot and it was really warm and white and just gross it was really gross so yeah and then um it happened again, I was in the tent, and it got, my foot was like out of the tent a little bit, so then it got on my leg. I'm like, okay, birds, these birds here at Dames Ferry, Georgia campsite, y'all are doing a little bit too much for me, so, really gross. Of course, I washed off my foot, I rinsed it, I wiped it down, all of that good stuff, but, just a funny story. <laughs> Alright y'all, 
so we're making campfire nachos tonight. This is Marcus and I's like, favorite campfire meal. We had it years ago and we're trying to recreate the taste. So hopefully it'll turn out good. Let's see. So that brings us to the end of our camping trip. It was a total blast. I cannot wait to do it again next year. I would love to actually do it again right now, to be honest. And it was so relaxing, so fun. So if you guys like camping, comment down below in the chat or let me know if you'd rather do glamping. So today, right now, in a little bit, we're about to take Marshy on a little walk. So Marcus, how would you say your summer has been going so far? Um, great. You gotta look up this direction. Nice to be traveling here. Marshy, how's your summer been? Good. Okay, and for me, my summer has been pretty good as well. I think this has been a really, really fun summer and I am, I'm ready to close it out with doing like these summery activities that we're doing and cause y'all, I am so ready for fall. I'm ready, like I'll show you guys when we get back home or probably at the end of this video, like some things that we're doing to prepare for fall um, and some of the things that I bought already for fall. I did film like a whole shot with me thing and I'm also really excited to present you guys with what Sweet Masonry has for fall and Halloween this year. Oh wait, babe, how do you feel about fall and Halloween coming? I'm not thinking about it. At all? No. The only thing, reason I'm thinking about it for fall is because of your birthday. Yes. Yeah, it's, nice. it's 90 degrees outside. Summer's in full effect. <laughs> guys she's so excited so when we go on the walks of course we have her leash and then we have um this my grandma got her this the flashlight and for bags her auntie candace got her this this is her water bottle and i'm gonna clip this on me so i can be more hands-free and i'm gonna put this on my wrist and then i need to grab my water bottle and then we're gonna be good to go Going on walks throughout the summer is one of our most favorite things to do. We always try to go to different trails and walk Marshy and Marcus loves to get his running in and I prefer to walk. I didn't get much footage in because I try not to be like on my phone or have my head down while we're on these walks. You know, you gotta always stay aware of your surroundings, but overall they're super duper peaceful and relaxing. Okay y'all, we finished our walk. She moved up once and this totally came in handy. I stopped to give her water like three or four times. She can't get in the car by herself, so we have to lift her in <laughs> um, each time, but that's okay. And I'm gonna give her some more water. Another thing we bought her recently, another thing we bought her recently is this little doggy seatbelt. So I'm gonna strap her into this, but first I'm gonna give her some water. Watching me when we with our friends Definitely something Good girl 
And the reason I'm pulling from my Stanley stash is because we ran out of water in this reservoir. But if you press the button right here, y'all, like all the water will flow back inside here. So you don't ever waste water and it's just so handy for on the go. All right, now I'm gonna strap her in. So this is the seatbelt part. You just click it in and now you put this on her. All right, and we're gonna blast the air so she can cool down. Great, let's go. She not cute. Yeah. They have this one. It's the bat. I give this like a chunky bat. Which other one? Oh, there's a white There's one. a mummy one. This is a bud light one. I don't think that's it. Where's the mummy? Hold on. And there's the mummy one. Why is not focusing? Oh, I there you go. Doing it lately. I think because I was spinning that thing while it was in my pocket. And there's this one, you guys. I give this one like a... Six. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's no other choice but the pumpkin. We just gotta choose the right one. This one Marshmallow gonna tear it up. No. This one looks clunky. We gotta choose one that looks like right. Assault. <laughs> I think this one might be the winner. What do you think? You like it's good? It's so plushy. Oh my gosh. Yay. I want to touch it. Oh, touch it. Oh, okay. It's going to go in the sun room. With all our other toys. Oh, it's so good. So we got all of our little groceries from Sam's. Tonight, we're gonna make these salmon burgers. Are we gonna put these in the grill or air fry? Air this is a perfect for grilling now. We got waffle fries. We got these little hoagie rolls. They're so good, y'all. We got a whole bunch of lemonade because we're obsessed with it. These chips. We got deli meat. I got blueberries to go on my pancakes. I have really good wine fruit. And then of course we got this big old watermelon. And then you guys already saw this little plushie. So we are, okay y'all, so we are back home and I wanna show you some little Halloween thingies that we got. Because why not, but I'll probably also show you these things again when I do a fall haul. But not everybody watches the fall haul, so I'm gonna just show y'all now. So anyways, I got this pumpkin skeleton from Joann's. It is so cute. I'm not gonna turn it on because Marshy's right here and she she does get afraid of like the sound that it makes. But um, these are all the little positions it can do. All of its little body parts move. So it's really, really cute. And then also from Joann's, the one other thing that I got with this was this beautiful, beautiful um, doormat. And it just says, please come back with pumpkin spice. It's so adorable. This was, everything was a really good price because not only was it 40% off, I had a coupon for an additional 20% off my in-store purchase. So I got both of these items for $60, the little um, guy and the doormat. And then we also recently went to At Home and Marcus actually did some shopping with me. Okay, so from At Home, we only got like two things or three things in this bag right here. And we actually met a stubby, so Sydney, if you're watching, thank you so much for supporting us. But first thing was we got this little pillow that's a haunted house. The price on this was $9.99, I believe. 
and this is going to go out into the sunroom because my whole vision for in there this fall is to make it just like a really cozy movie space so i want nothing but blankets and pillows all over the sunroom floor <laughs> um within like a halloween fall theme so got that pillow and then we also got another doormat y'all i'm obsessed with doormats i have quite the collection of halloween fall doormats already but when i tell you i couldn't resist this item and it was only 12.99 one thing i will say about this one is it's shedding way more than the one from joanne's is but it's made out of that core material that all doormats are made out of and this is what it looks like happy halloween with all the ghosties and i was just thinking i would turn this into like a little diy and i would paint all of the ghosties some different little fun colors like some orange some peach some pink that type of vibe and while we're talking about halloween i think i'm going to repaint the front door because the blue doesn't quite go with the vibe for halloween the pink did fit in rather nicely because it's like a sweet halloween um so I have a few colors in mind and I'll probably create a poll later on but if you want to go ahead and comment now what color you think I should do for the front door. So the colors I'm thinking about doing this year for Halloween include going back to pink. I think that would be really really pretty. Doing the rusty orange color that I do on the kitchen door or doing a gray color like how all the other doors are gray around here i think that would be super duper pretty but anywho last thing i got were these um little ghost candles and i got these last year i just really like them they're really cute mine all melted down the faces don't exist on the ones that i have anymore so these were $8.99. They were cheaper last year. Last year these were like seven bucks. Everything has gone up though, right? We can all agree. And then the doormat, if I didn't mention, it was only $12.99. And then finally we got some poopery spray for you already know. Okay, y'all. So these are the last two items that I got from Sam's besides that pumpkin that we got today. And I actually got these on our previous trip. I was so excited to see these because the deal was insane. So I usually do like wallflowers around the house from Bath and Body Works, but y'all know they be doing a little five for $27 sale, which is good. It's a sale and sometimes you get the coupon, you can save a little bit of money. And not to say that I ever won't buy those again, but for this fall season, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, so I decided to get the Glade plugins because they were way, way, way cheaper. Like I got both of these things for way less than $27. I want to say $16 for both, but don't quote me. I'll have everything linked down below, but if you don't have a Sam's, I don't know if you'd be able to get the deal. Anywho, this, I got the Autumn Spice apple scent and it smells so good like the way i want to plug these in right now i'm gonna plug them right now so it comes with two warmers which is great because i don't think i have any of these and then it has like as you can see so many refills so i love that and then i also got this glade um spray unit i've never tried this before but it comes with three like Sense and it just squirts them out so i think i'm gonna put this one here in the living room and then it's just a traditional pumpkin scent it smells just like sweet cinnamon pumpkin from bath and body works so if you like that you'll definitely like this and then like i said it's way cheaper and then they have an apple scent at bath and body works too that this smells just like i got it last year so i was like got this i'm getting the same scent for way cheaper Okay y'all, so it is another summer day in my life and on this day, we were going fishing to celebrate my dad's birthday. We ended up going to Hard Labor State Park here in Georgia and it was so beautiful. Like the day started off gloomy and kind of muggy, 
but it got better and better as time went along. We have not gone fishing like as a family for a very, very long time, but I have fond childhood memories of us doing so. So to be like an adult now and having this experience with my parents was super great. And then also being able to share that with Marcus, my sister was there, my grandma, and Marshy got to come along too. It was just a vibe. So All right, you guys, we're at the lake. Getting set up now. And then we're going to fish. This is the bay. Is it live? Yes. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> The worm fell off. Oh, the worm gone. If you're curious as to whether or not we caught any fish, we did not. We simply fed them on this day, which is totally fine. And I'm so happy I had brave people around me to put the worm on the hook because y'all, that worm was squirming so much and just touching it. Well, I just cannot do it. But um, next up, I'm about to cast my line out in the water. Literally so many great memories were made on this day. And speaking of memories, there's a lot of things that I did not record that we were able to do throughout right. the summer. At the very beginning, Marcus and I sat down and we created a whole summer bucket list of just things that we would like to do with one another, like reading a summer romance novel, playing pickleball, barbecuing, going swimming, all of those things. And you guys can see now what we checked off. We did not get to complete everything, but having a list of things and like fun date ideas to do was so helpful as we go through our summer days because I don't know about you guys, but time literally can fly by so quick and you look up and you're wondering, oh my gosh, where'd the time go? I didn't get to do this, I didn't get to do that while the weather was nice. So if you still have some nice days where you are, definitely do some of these summer activities with your loved ones or just by yourself and have a great time. And if by chance you're like me and you're kind of over summer and just ready for fall to be in full swing, I'm going to pop up our fall bucket list that we went ahead and created. I told Marcus I'm waiting to decorate, but I'm just relishing in all my previous memories right now on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen my profile recently, I've been posting a lot of reels and stuff, but I'm definitely going to begin decorating or at least posting new content in September for the fall season.
Oh, it's flying away quick. It's moving too fast. Alright y'all, so we are getting ready to leave the lake now, but it was so fun just being out with my family <laughs> on the water. I feel like the lake is definitely one of my happy places. Marshy had a blast. And if you're wondering, no, we did not catch anything. We want to come here a lot earlier next time because once we got settled, bought our fishing licenses, which we're now licensed for the rest of the year, $15 in Georgia. Um, and five dollars for a day pass yeah we'll have to come back because we did not get out here until 10 a.m and we need to get out here earlier when the fish is actually biting because right now they are not biting but we're about to head back into the city but it was a really really great time okay y'all so the last thing we're going to do in the summer vlog is pack a cute little back to school goodie bag for favor if you guys remember like a few years ago i redid her dorm room and so it's been a minute since we talked and reconnected and so now that she's entering her junior year i cannot believe it of college we are going to meet up again and um hang out for a little bit I, it won't be a part of this vlog though because this vlog is going live before we're actually meeting up but i did go ahead and purchase a few things for her for her back to school season so yeah and i really wanted to go big because i missed last year with the wedding happening around august when she was going back to school it was just so much going on so um this is for last sophomore year and junior year so the first thing i got her was this tote bag that says spelman college from sam's club it's so cute i'll have it linked down below but i think it was around 75 dollars you guys this is so cute it's so big which i love and i don't envision her like walking around with this to class because of the how massive it is but i do think this is one of those bags that will be good for like travel or will be good for um picnics you know maybe her and her friends are going down to piedmont park you put a blanket in here for all the snacks and drinks like this is just one of those good like tote bags to have and it's super duper heavy duty it has like grips right here at the bottom the straps are nice and they even had these like big bags they had one with uga like a uga on it the georgia logo and i kind of wanted that one it was red it was so cute but i didn't get it so anyways love this and then to go in here i got her a stanley cup if you guys remember my subby bought me one of these um but it was a little bit smaller than this and i am in love with my stanley let me go grab it so you guys can see the size difference okay so this is my stanley that my subby got for me and then this is favors stanley so you can see the size difference they sell this one at target it's a part of the joanna Gaines hearth and hand line with magnolia and this one comes in so many pretty colors cream sage like a really pretty pure white and then like a brown color that would be perfect for fall but the reason i got the navy color hopefully it doesn't look black on camera but the reason i got this navy color was because it goes really good with the bag and the school colors at spellman so that's that so i'm going to pack this bag up with a few more things because I had asked Favor like again to remind me of what some of her like favorite snacks were, her favorite candies, her favorite drinks and stuff like that. And so I went ahead and bought all those things along with a few like cleaning supplies that she could use for college and we're gonna put them all in here. So let's get started. Alright y'all, so we have everything here in the Walmart bags. I did like a Walmart delivery order. I should have got tissue paper and stuff like that, but I was not thinking. Hopefully I can find some tissue paper. Okay, so... Take this. 
So she mentioned that her favorite drink was Dr. Pepper. So I got these little mini cans of Dr. Pepper. This wasn't the exact one that I had wanted. I wanted the can so it could come in like a cardboard case, but they were also out. So you know at Walmart, if you do a delivery order, they pick like the next best thing or the next closest thing. So this was that. So I think I'm gonna put this in the bag first. At the bottom, like that. Okay, we also have some salt and vinegar chips. She said these are her favorite kind of chips. So I got these and I kind of like how the colors are going together. If you guys know, Morehouse is like the, the men's version of Spelman. So, and their colors are burgundy and cream, I wanna say. So it kind of all matches. And then we have the blue chips with like a little burgundy right here. Her favorite candy, she said, were these little trolleys sour gummy worms. So I got two packs of these, a bigger pack. Oopsie. And then like a little smaller pack. I wish y'all could see inside of the bag. Okay, that's better. Now you guys can see better, like me putting the stuff in the bag. So I put the trolleys on that side. Her favorite, like chocolate, she said was Twix. So I got some of these. Um, I wonder if I should stand this up like that. That's cute. Let's put it twigs right there. Okay. And then she also said that she liked lemonade. It was like her favorite drink. But um, they didn't have like the regular lemonade flavor. So I guess they subbed it out with raspberry. And I think I'm going to take these and stuff them into her Stanley cup. So these are all the packets right here. All the packets. And I'm gonna open her Stanley. This Stanley is so huge. I just envision her walking around with it, you know, to class and stuff. And it literally would keep the water cold all day long. So yeah, just toss those in there. I was even telling Marcus what would have taken this back to the next level is if I could have like wrote her name right down here of some like vinyl, some cricket vinyl. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the Stanley cup. I'm like running out of room, even though this bag is so big. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. And then I also got her some disinfecting wipes from Clorox, bless you. I got some regular wet ones with alcohol because you need these on a college campus. So let's see where we can fit these in. I guess I'll toss those right here. And then put this, put those there. Let me see the other way. Let me put these on this side. Just a little bit of extra room. Okay, okay. And then the last thing that I got for her, her favorite scent, she said was vanilla. So I got these Glade plugins for her to possibly go in her dorm room. So here we have the plugins. Right there, and then this is the scent, Sheer Vanilla Embrace. And it smells really, really good. Yeah, this smells so good. Also, I love that these Glade plugins, they have the controller so you can just like control how much scent comes out. Y'all know back in the day, you didn't get to like, pick and choose how much scent you get. So I think it'll be perfect. If her nose is really sensitive, she can decide how much she wants to put out okay I'm running out of room let me just stuff these in there maybe over here by the chips okay and the last thing you guys is some popcorn bags I got for her she said that this was her favorite kind of like another favorite type of chip 
So I'm just going to toss these in there. top it off is to stuff this with tissue paper i'm gonna see real quick if i have some i don't think i do okay y'all so i found this filler paper like this shred stuff so i'm gonna try to use this to fill up the bag i think i'm gonna put this at the base and then i'm gonna put this one on top since it matches better found some ribbon in my little craft stash and I decided to add that as just an extra special touch to the handle and I tied it into a really cute bow and I think I might add some more ribbon later and I need to also put a card in here of some sort but yeah I had so much fun making this little goodie bag for favor and I hope she will love it so very much we're nearing the end of today's video and I do want to just thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this summer vlog and hopefully if you know you're still celebrating summer and it's hot where you are you get some ideas of what you could do to close out your summer too and I also would just like to thank Fiverr again for sponsoring today's video you guys can visit fiverr.co slash young lady business to see how they can support your business needs today and be sure to use my code YLB10 to get 10% off and again, August is Black Business Month, so you guys remember to support Black businesses all the time, but especially during this month. I'm so happy Fiverr is committed to that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye!